6 News breaking news alert. And breaking right now, a daytime shooting involving U.S. Marshals here in Portland. We're getting new information as we're working to learn how this all started. It is 6 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannolo. And I'm Jenny Hansen in for Elizabeth Din. Now, right now, streets are closed on Southeast Sandy for that investigation. Jenny Young is there now with new details that she learned just within the last half hour. Jenny. Jeff, Jenny, we learned that two men were injured, at least one of them shot by a U.S. Marshal. It is still a very active scene out here, as we've been telling you, since 4 o'clock. Uh, PPB is leading this investigation. They're the one, the ones providing information to us. You can expect to see this uh, scene out here for at least a few more hours. They say the police bureau received a call from U.S. Marshal's office around 10.30 this morning, letting them know that Marshal's would be in this area serving a warrant. About four hours later, shots were fired and officers from Central Precincts were called out here to the scene. So we're told the man who was shot is in serious condition. PPB said he had a warrant for robbery. We spoke to a witness, a woman who says she had just returned to her office on 11th Street when she heard a gunshot. She looked out the window and saw a marshal with his gr gun drawn on someone inside an SUV that was directly parked next to her vehicle. Listen to what she described. I heard the pop noise, so I'm assuming he was shot at that point, and they had guns drawn on both sides for quite a while, and I couldn't understand why, but um, I think that's it. I don't know if they were trying to clear it for guns or if there was a, I didn't see a passenger. I only saw him getting pulled out. Portland police say two women were, who were with those men have been detained. PPB again leading this investigation, and they're not releasing many details surrounding the moments that led up to that shot or shots being fired. They say it is important to make sure all witnesses have been interviewed first. Uh, we're told the U.S. Marshals will likely uh, release a statement or a press release sometime tomorrow. But again, uh, most all of this information coming from the police bureau and Jeff Jenny as we get new details. If we do get new details throughout the night, uh, we'll have them for you at 10 and 11. For now, report. Morning live in Southeast Portland, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. Jenny, thank you. And stay with Coin 6 as we bring you the latest on this breaking story. You can get that information anytime on Coin.com.